What is up guys, my name is Mr. Omoxy and I'm back again uh, bringing you some more Star Wars Battlefront videos, uh, just some more gaming videos in general. Uh, I'm going to be back producing videos on a more regular content because uh, I've got some free time now to do stuff. Uh, but first, for some of you guys who may be new around here, I'm going to reintroduce myself and kind of get this all in perspective so I can start the video. Alright then, uh, my name is Elliot, uh, or Mr. Omoxy, and I previously produced uh, Star Wars Battlefront videos talking about rumours and speculation. I'm going to continue to do that, but on a series I'm going to be making called Star Wars Battlefront news or something of that nature, probably like Battlefront update news, something along those lines. Some of you may also be aware that I was uh, producing a film podcast before I stopped making videos and stopped making podcasts and all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to be doing some film related videos soon, uh, not too many though, it's going to be focusing mainly on gameplay this channel, but uh, I hope to bring you some guys some top 10 films of the year and stuff, some stuff like that that you guys can check out. Anyway, let's moving on. Uh, this video uh, is the first episode of Star Wars Battlefront news. Um, basically, we've got some news about the Star Wars Battlefront 3 that was apparently going to come out or somewhere around this time, but obviously hasn't. Uh, the news is basically saying that Steve Ellis, or Steve Ellis, I don't really know what his name is, says he was the co-founder of the company called Free Radical. Uh, those of you following Star Wars Battlefront throughout the, the time of this development will know that they were the rumoured, or they, probably, they were the developers of Battlefront 3 before it got stopped. Uh, production. Um, basically what this guy came out and said is that the game was 99% finished before LucasArts cancelled the project. Now if that is the case then you've got to ask yourselves why LucasArts did that, uh, was the game really crap, was was it just not the right time, was it not what they, was it for the financial reasons? Uh, so you know this is just all speculation really. Um, and then we had a couple of days ago we had another article released from GameSpot now, what this game's article says is actually quite interesting because uh, he kind of defuncts the uh, the stuff that the free radical guy was saying. This guy's an anonymous guy speaking to Gamespot, but already it's Gamespot, and I find him to be more a reputable company than Games TM because I'm not really familiar with Games TM, and that's who the other source came from. And basically, what he's saying is that the uh, the game wasn't really 99% finished; it was more 75% finished, and it was mediocre at best. He said. Um, he also said that Free Radical were uh, operating under a Ponzi scheme, which uh, I'll quickly explain, explain for you what that is first. A uh, Ponzi scheme is basically where uh, a an investor gives money to someone to make something or do something, and uh, the, the the guy, the person who's doing the actual thing, takes the investor's money and spends it on something else. In this case, the Free Radical guys were taking money from LucasArts to fund their development of Hayes. What they were hoping for is that Hayes was going to be the next Halo, the, the a huge major success, and they would be able to fund, uh, the, off the back of that, Star Wars Battlefront 3 and Time Splitters 4. Now what the case was really is that Hayes flopped massively, leaving obviously Free Radical in a bad place where they didn't have enough money to fund Battlefront 3. Uh, so, you know, this is ha probably why the game was in such poor quality when LucasArts came to inspect it. Being said, though, this could still be a rumour. I'm definitely not I'm not 100% saying this is true, because it probably isn't, and a Ponzi scheme is actually really serious. It's uh, I think it's punishable by law to do something like that. But uh, So I'm not saying that they are doing it. I'm just giving you the information we've heard. Uh, anyway, so basically, uh, LucasArts were also saying, well, this LucasArts employee, he's an ex-employee, uh, he's being kept anonymous, said that uh, the game, uh, the, not the game, the Free Radical, were missing deadlines. They were, uh, they were, they were spending the money too quickly. Uh, so LucasArts gave some kind of goodwill gesture payments, which uh, obviously were spent on possibly haze. Uh, which you know, this is the reason why uh, the game apparently failed because LucasArts pumped so much money into it and it wasn't going anywhere, the game wasn't good enough, uh, so they just generally uh, cancelled the game. Uh, and that's why we've been seeing all of these videos on YouTube uh, about Star Wars Battlefront 3 looking very buggy. Well not buggy, but it looks like an unfinished game. It doesn't definitely doesn't look 99% complete, does it? In similar fashion to my other videos, I'm going to give my opinion for a bit. Uh, I personally think this is a very viable thing what could have happened to the Battlefront 3. It seems, it doesn't seem likely, but it seems like a, a very suitable explanation for why this game was, was canned and why LucasArts felt the need to, to cancel it. Uh, I, uh, 
Free Radical are quite a good company in my opinion. They made Time Splitters, which is one of my favourite games on the GameCube and the PlayStation. Um, but really, I could definitely see this as a very valid case because, as we all know, Hayes was supposedly going to be the next big thing. I remember the time it was coming out, everyone was really hyped, and it came out to commercial and critical failure. So, that's just my opinion on it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a like, uh, or a thumbs up, or a subscribe, or not thumbs up, <laughs> like and thumbs up the same. Um, and next time, I'm going to be talking about some news about the uh, Star Wars Battlefront 4, uh, some news on some pictures we've been seeing about them. That video should be coming up in, in a short time because I'm going to try and pump out some more videos over this week. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you.